Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we are talking about great gent carries. What is a gent carry? Well, not this. This is a beast. This would be a hard-use work knife or a hard-use knife, period. So, a gent knife is more like this, and I'm going to go through a whole bunch of knives that I think make great gentleman carries. Gentleman carry mean, meaning maybe you're wearing a suit and tie, or you're just, you know, you're dressing up, or you're going out for the evening, you're not going to need nothing crazy, something lightweight and easy to carry. Now, there might be a couple in here you guys might disagree with, but whatever. This is the Kaiser Feist but this is the Stormtrooper edition. Now, any one of the Kaiser Feists, I think, make great gent carries. Now, the liner lock version, I think, um, especially because it has this nice deep carry clip that doesn't have any screws protruding. Great action. Great knife. Let's get to the next one. The next one is the Tucson. I believe this is the 158... I'm not 100%. I'll write it on the screen, but this is a great little knife like to put inside of a shirt pocket. The clip is very small. It's it's a small knife, very compact, but it is very capable still. Beautiful carbon fiber, milled titanium, M390 blade, nice and slicey. I think I measured this one at like... I think it was close to like 10 thousandths when I measured it. Great uh, blade shape, nice detent, great action. You can use that fuller, but it is pretty tight. But yeah, awesome little knife. Next, this is the Monterey Bay Knives EZC 2.0. I also have here the 1.5. The 1.5 is a liner lock version. Great action. This one has the shred carbon fiber. Now this one is an integral. Both Ray Laconico designs. And yeah, the Monterey Bay Knives Easy EZC 2.0 and 1.5 are both great great knives great for gent carry i mean this is basically like a prime example of a gent carry and in both of these knives cases they're very neutral grips you know just a straightforward blade and yeah very useful but very gent like sticking with the ray laconico designs you also have the kaiser keen this one has stasified anno finish on there which looks really really good but the keen you know a lot like the other two ray laconico designs it's just a straightforward knife very useful but small and compact and yeah it's just just a knife and that's what's beautiful about it sometimes being just a knife is the best part about a knife this one just happens to look really good with, you know, Stas's, uh anal finish on there. So, you could break out a beautiful, beautiful custom knife when uh, dressing up. This is the time, really, to carry your beautiful, beautiful custom knives. You know, you... You know, it's beautiful to show off if you want to. You got zirconium on here, beautiful wood, and the fit and finish action. Just everything on this is so amazing. It's super duper smooth. You can feel the tolerances and how well built it is. So, yeah, this would make an amazing, amazing gent knife. Keep that sucker in the pouch. Another amazing custom knife that, to me, it's a bit big for a gent carry, but, you know, depending on how you're dressing up and what kind of gent you are, this might be an amazing gent knife for you. This is an Andre Thorburn, and Andre Thorburn makes amazing, amazing custom knives. South African 
It's a South African made knife. And if you don't know about the South African made knives, they make some of the best action on the planet. I mean, there obviously we have in the U.S. a lot of great, great action knives. You know, all over the world you're going to find knives that have amazing action. And South African knives definitely know what they're doing with their detents and their action. And yeah, Andre Thorburn makes beautiful, beautiful custom knives that could make great gent knives. And speaking of amazing action, the Holt Haptic, another um, amazing, amazing knife. And it just looks so damn good. And this is a great size where it's not too big, but not too small. It's kind of, in my opinion, um, I mean, I guess it just depends on who you are. But this would be a great full-size gent carry knife. Um, very capable, nice and thin hollow ground blade, beautiful stone washing. The titanium is extremely, extremely well done. And the action from the detent nub is on another level. I can't even express how great the action is on the whole haptic. I mean, it is insanely good. And damn it, this thing looks so good. So this is definitely one to impress your friends with. And just the action alone would, you know, be impressive. The Wii Kite Fin. <laughs> the Wii Kite Fin, um, in my opinion, is a very capable knife. But to me, it is more of a gent carry, even though it is extremely slicey and can be used for a lot of things. Very useful blade. But, you know, it is nice, compact, thin, and it just looks good. And with that deep carry clip, you know... It pretty much hides itself in your pocket. Great action. And, yeah, just an awesome, awesome, uh, basically a lightweight, you know, EDC knife, even though it is a titanium frame lock. So, great, great option. Another Wii knife is the Wii Vapor. This one has, um, I believe this is a ceramic coating or a Cerakote because it is a pretty thick coating that protects this knife but also makes it look really cool. You have this beautiful carbon fiber inlay, great action, nice deep hollow ground blade, um, a lot like the kite fin. But, uh, you know, being deep carry, this one is a stone wash blade and it comes in other options as well. So does the kite fin. But this one being the purple with carbon fiber, yeah, I think it looks really good. It doesn't have a deep carry clip, but it carries very well. Next, Civivi Pintail. Now, this one in particular, I mean, you could, any one of the options I think would be good. Nice deep carry clip. Great action. The detents are so, so tuned. I mean, just perfectly tuned. Even for the thumb studs. Nice deep hollow grind. Very, very slicey. Now, this is just a great EDC carry altogether. But it is a compact, smaller knife. And with the Damascus, boy, does it look good. Almost like a raindrop Damascus. But yeah, another great option. The Civivi Pintail. Sticking with Civivis, we have the Civivi Elementum. This one is the wood grain edition. Also, these knives on there. Thanks to Civivi for sending this to us. Um, I think that's very awesome of them. But yeah, everybody knows the Civivi Elementum. Great knife, great action, straightforward. And because of the platform it's on, you know, the hollow ground drop point, spear point blade, whatever you want to call it, deep carry clip, um, you know, nice choil. It, it's just such a useful knife. Fantastic knife. Next, the Spyderco Brower. The Spyderco Brower is an awesome knife. To me, this might not be a gent carry to a lot of people. But I could see this being just, you know, a great gent carry for the night. I mean, it is a small, very usable, useful knife. And this one is an S30V titanium with G10. 
great little knife. Next, we have the Kaiser Shard. Now, this is a little compact guy. I mean, it's very tiny, but deep carry clip that works very well. This is something that'll definitely, like, you know, basically get lost in your pocket. But the micarta is done very well. It looks really good. This one's got a little wear on it, but it does look really good. And it's just a super useful little knife. So, you know, depending on what you're doing, you might not need a full size knife, but you still got something on you. And to me, this is a great little gent carry. Quiet carry waypoint titanium frame or titanium scales with a um, a steel liner lock, but the steel liner lock is LC 200N, which is basically cor you know corrosion resistant as you can get. It has Vanex um, super clean steel, so since it has Vanex steel. It is uh, basically a rust-proof knife. Nice deep carry clip. And even though this is an extremely useful, great knife all around, because it's so such a compact, sleek, straight design, I think this is a great gent carry knife. But also just a great work knife. But great gent carry. The clip works extremely well. And they do have the, the other one, which is black. And, you know, it even looks more gent-like. But, yeah, great, great knife, great gent carry, great knife all around. Now, this one's a little larger, but I still think it's a great gent carry. I've actually carried it in a suit twice now. Um, and it is the Tuya NV2 Titanium Dave Warren design M390. It has a dual grind, hollow grind, and a flat ground tip. But the action is way, I mean, it's amazing. The action's amazing. Um, the detent is tuned extremely nice. It's not like a large knife, but it's definitely not a small knife. Um, it's more of the medium size category. Man, the action is so, so good. It's so well tuned. And I, I, you know, since I've carried this in a suit and tie twice, I, you know, I just, to me, this is a great all around tool and gent knife. And this is a knife that looks good for some reason. Well, not for some reason. It's because it looks good. But when people see this, it, it stands out. People seem to really like the way it looks. So to me, this is a great knife to carry if you kind of want to show your knife off a little bit. It's a great one. Now, this knife is the exact definition of a gent knife. The real steel Luna Boost. Yeah, you can take this thumb stud off if you want and make it a two-hand opener. They also come in other options. They got a slip joint ver version of it. They have liner lock versions. Titanium clip, titanium frame lock on this one because this is the Boost version. But very slicey blade. And very compact, but you still have a very capable knife when you need one. And it just looks so good, especially with all the the brass-colored titanium. Yeah, what a good-looking knife. Such a good-looking knife. This is definitely probably one of the better options for a gent carry on this list. A few more. The Spyderco Chaparral. This is just such a compact little slicey, let me do that again, slicey knife that, you know, it's, you can carry it in anything. It's good fifth, fifth pocket carry, super compact, very thin. The blade is very, very thin on it, super duper slicey, CTS XHP steel. I like that steel and yeah, great, great knife. Great gent carry. Another one, this to me is, you know, maybe not everybody would agree that this is a gent carry, but to me, it's it's pretty much a gent carry. Real good looking micarta. The colors do pop on it. It's basically a slow rolling action. I mean, you can thumb flick it. You can't reverse flick it unless if you're left-handed, but 
because there's nothing on that side. But it is a liner lock, deep carry wire clip, which wire clips work so good. And it's just, it is a good looking knife. Now this is a very capable knife, um, just like all the knives on this list, but great, great gent carry option. The Concept Mujer, this to me is an amazing, amazing gent carry knife. It is a front flipper, so if you're not into front flippers, just flip, yeah, front flippers, this wouldn't be an option for you. But if you are, it is a great front flipping knife, and it does come in other options. But you have beautiful carbon fiber, titanium frame lock. This one is the coated version, or at least, you know, on the scales, it does come in raw titanium. The clip works great. The action's amazing. It has kind of a Persian-style blade on it, which, you know, the jimping locks you in really good. Nice, beautiful stone wash on it. Very, very cool. And this one is a Dirk Pinkerton design, by the way. The Concept Moo Hair. You can see it right there. The Olamic Whipper Snapper. Now this one doesn't have a deep carry clip, but boy is it good looking. Oh, these things look so good. I also have one. This one was here, is here for sharpening. Um, but yeah, these things look so good. You can customize them any way you want. Yes, they're a very, very useful knife with amazing action. The front flipping action is some of the best. And Olamic makes extremely, extremely solid knives. But you can, you know, like I said, customize them the way you want. The clip works great. And, you know, since it has all, like, so many different options, you can dress them up just the way you want. And it works great as a dress knife. Such a good knife. Such a good knife, but then such a great looking gent knife. Now, this last one, I'm going to say, a lot of people will disagree on this one, but I'm going to say this could possibly be the ultimate jet knife. The Rockstead Hego. No clip. Beautiful wood. Beautiful mirror polished blade. Very, very sharp. The ergos are amazing. Now, this is a little large for a gent carry, I know. But you carry it on your hip, on your belt. The, the sheath works great. It's nice and snug in there. And, you know, if you're wearing a suit or something, the black leather will go great with your belt. And, you know, or if you're just dressing up, you know, for the night, maybe you don't want to carry nothing, you know, on your pocket. The action is ultra, ultra smooth. Now, I can thumb flick this, reverse flick it, or even top flip it. But, you know, it's more of the slow rolling kind. Very strong. I mean, these things are so well built. I mean, it's just, ugh, there's... You can't budge any play out of this thing. It's just super duper well built. The, the precision and build quality is amazing on these. And yeah, great, great knife. And to me, this is possibly the ultimate, ultimate um, gent knife. And with this type of blade, how it's all polished and everything, even though this would be an awesome tool, it looks so good. You know, you just want to do like... You know, like light, I don't know about light duty cuts, but cuts where you're not going to scratch your knife or anything like that. And it just keep it good looking as long as you possibly can. The Rockstead Hego. So, there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.